Hello everyone. Today I'm making a video how to program a P25 radio system into your BCD 996 P2 scanner. I looked all over the internet and I've had scanners in the past but when I got this scanner I, I really didn't know what I was doing and it took some trial and error and a little bit of help uh, from some people that took mercy on me and I just wanted to make a video on how you do this so we're going to begin with uh, you want to go to a website called radioreference.com it's a, it's a great website and they they have about every town state that you can think of and the frequencies um, so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is you want to press menu and you're going to see uh, program system. You want to hit the E button. The E button's right here. And go into program system. And as you can tell, I already got systems in my scanner. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down to uh, new system. and it's right there it'll say new system and then you want to press enter now there you have several options on what kind of system you want to program in but today we're just talking about the p25 system um so what you want to do is highlight the p25 and you want to press enter and there's two options standard trunk or one frequency well most of the ones I've ran into are just standard trunk so th that's the one we're going to be working with today so you want to press enter on standard trunk highlighting confirm yes press enter again then this is where you can put a name to the system which I'm not going to do that right now we're going to skip that part but you can name you can give it a name what you want to call this system uh, but today I'm, I'm, we're just going to call it system 23 then you want to go to you want to scroll down to and highlight edit site then you want to click enter now you're going to see select a new site you press enter again now you, right here once again you can give the site a name but I'm not going to do that I'm going to skip that and we're just going to call it uh, site 23-1 p25 okay and you want to scroll down to quick key now don't forget don't skip this you have to set the quick key so we're going to click on highlight it quick key and press enter we're going to scroll down to i want to set mine to 22 just just for this video and you press enter now you set the quick key remember whatever you do don't forget to set the quick key so once you set the quick key you want to scroll down to set frequencies now you're going to need the frequencies that's where this site comes in radio reference 
and I live here in Missouri and in Jefferson County and uh, we'll scroll down and most of the time I found on radio reference that when you go to the the county that you're in that there's usually uh, the conventional uh, frequencies like right here these are the conventional frequencies um, which we're not going to be using those today because we're trying to set up uh, a P25 radio system so my area is called St. Louis area trunk emergency radio slaughter now that's the P25 as you can see right there project 25 phase 1 and we're going to click on that and we're going to scroll down and we'll talk a little bit about this part here now you have to find uh, what what site you're looking for now there's two sites in my county there's Jefferson County South and Jefferson County North. Now I live in the north part of the county. And right here is the frequencies. Right here. Now there's two columns of frequencies for my northern part of my county. So let's talk about why some of the frequencies are red those are the primary control channels and the blue highlighted are the alternative uh, control channels now you really don't have to worry about that and this is why I want you to always start at the left of the frequencies and as you can see mine is 851-250 now that's the first frequency you want to put in and you want to go all the way over and put that first line of frequencies in then you want to go back to the left to the second column and put those frequencies in going to the right and this is where you do that at right here where it says set frequencies you highlight that and then you click enter and it'll come up where it's highlighted new frequencies now go back down to your chart and you see where it says the frequencies like I said starting on the left side put that top row in first and then go back to the left and then the second row and some systems only have one row of frequencies but you'll notice that there'll be blue and there'll be red don't really worry about that so once you put the frequencies in and right here make sure you do this right like the first frequency is 851.250 so you'd want to say 8 five one point two five zero 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 and then you click enter now you just set the first frequency of the system so then you'd want to press menu one time now menu takes you back to set frequencies you want to go down and highlight new frequency and then you click on that and that's where you would put the second frequency 851.475 so once you put all those frequencies in there it's as simple as this you want to just back out press menu to go back after you got all the frequencies in back up you're back to system 22 
press scan and your system is set up now you want to probably take the time because I didn't to name your uh, your bank um, you want to take the time to name the system I should say and then name the site take your time and do that it's not really important but I, I like to keep mine mine organized so I, I, I take my time and do that so I hope this video helps you out if you have any questions just leave a message and I'll try to answer them have a great day.